For the past week, I have been living in a nightmare. Seven days ago, a deadly disease was released from a science lab, spreading like wildfire across the planet. They called it the Plague of Despair. Just being within the cloud of the disease was a death sentence. No chance to fight, no way to hide. By the third day, millions were dead, and only a few hundred of us remained. I was lucky to be among them. On the fourth day, something more terrifying began. I was holed up with a ragtag group of survivors in an abandoned military base. We thought the thick walls and steel doors would keep us safe. But then we saw them. Hordes of... things. They were once human, but now their flesh was rotting, their eyes clouded and their movements unnatural. The plague had twisted them into something beyond death, and they were coming for us. We had some weapons, guns, knives, but little ammunition. I wasn't trained for combat. I was just a teenager, barely able to hold a gun steady. But I tried to brace myself for what was coming. As the zombies began to ram into the base's steel doors, the pounding echoed through the halls, each thud heavier than the last. The guards at the entrance shouted frantic orders, their voices rising with panic. They're breaking through! Everyone, get to the underground! I bolted for the underground part of the base, heart pounding in my chest. It was a maze of concrete hallways with rooms that smelled of old sweat and fear. The air down there was thick, suffocating. I found a corner and tried to calm my racing thoughts, but then I heard it, screaming from above, a shriek of pure terror, followed by a deep, gruff voice that made my skin crawl. That's when I saw them. Zombies, staggering into the dimly lit hallway. Their skin was blackened, covered in dried blood and grime. This was beyond any nightmare I could imagine. Chaos erupted. People ran in every direction, screams bouncing off the cold walls. My legs moved before I even realised. I ran, not daring to look back. I stayed with a small group as we stumbled deeper into the base, away from the growls and snapping jaws. We turned a corner, only to find ourselves trapped. A dead end. No way out. Desperation clawed at my throat as the others drew their weapons, firing and stabbing at the oncoming horde. There was the air reeked of blood and gunpowder, and the sounds... Oh God, the sounds. Flesh ripping, bones cracking, my hands shaking. I hit the ground hard, gasping. Then something grabbed my ankle, yanking me off my feet. I thought it was one of them, but when I looked up, I saw a man, alive. He was huge, with broad shoulders and a face like stone. Before I could react, he pulled me up, dragging me away from the chaos. There were others with him, armed men, tough looking, with cold eyes. They grabbed a few of us younger ones, pulling us toward an armoured truck parked outside the base. I remember looking back as we sped away. The base, our last refuge, was surrounded, swarming with the undead. Their bodies piled against the gates, clawing, groaning, like a sea of twisted, desperate things. My stomach lurched as we drove off, leaving the rest of them behind. Their screams faded into the distance, but they still echo in my mind. Now, I'm living in a makeshift camp with about the others. We're huddled together under a cluster of tents, surrounded by darkness. The nights are the worst. Every sound, every rustle of leaves or snap of a branch makes my heart race. I haven't seen any of those things since we fled, but I can feel them out there, watching, waiting, and the plague. It's still out there too, creeping through the air, lurking in every shadow. Every time the wind picks up, I hold my breath, wondering if the next gust will carry that invisible death with it. I know, deep down, that the undead will find us again. And when they do, the plague will sweep over us, claiming what little is left of the world. Until then, I'm just waiting. Waiting in this awful, crawling silence, wondering if there's anything human left in me.